the public relations department of the Nigerian police has come out to give a word of caution or warning in quotes to the Nigerian pranksters on the internet. Today we want to speak on these rampant uh, developments, incidences of people doing pranks. All the time we say that um, this development is becoming so dangerous and exposing people to unnecessary dangers, uh, rather moral dangers, all sorts of dangers. That they either regulate the kind of prank they do or put a stop to it totally or else they will be faced by the law. Before we get into details of this particular story, watch this video. much as some of these pranks are very interesting and tacky and 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 funny they are as well dangerous and risky you are not only risking your own life you are risking the life of the person you are pranking as well if you watch this imagine the people running so in this particular prank nothing actually happened though the prank star was just running past as if some emergency happened and you see everybody running Look at the number of people you are pranking at the moment. Look at the number of people running. Somebody was selling bread. You run past the person. The person threw his bread. Some of the bread fell on the, fell on the ground. All in the name of prank. What if these people realize that it's a prank and they beat you, the prank star, the one pranking them? What if they beat you up? What would you say? Now you say it's a prank. Look at the camera. Look at And then what? Look at the camera. And then what? We'll look at the camera. Bring food to my table. No. These who do pranks, they risk their lives a lot and they expose themselves to nasty danger and of course they expose lives of other people to dangers i just think there's need for us to speak to that there's need for us to advise uh, our people can we please regulate whatever we do in as much as you can't ask you not to do your business you can't ask you not to do uh what your, your your means of livelihood but this thing is becoming rampant and becoming so dangerous to us can we actually regulate this Somebody was actually carrying a dummy gun one day to France. If police officers on patrol come across you, they will think it's real. They will actually think you are a criminal and you're actually carrying out a, a robbery operation. They fire you, you die what happens. Are you saying it is a strategic killing or justifiable killing by men of the police or any, any security operatives? Can we actually regulate what we do? These pranks should be regulated. We want to warn before we start taking actions on people. Fine, if you say a girl is not dressing properly, does it warrant you carrying, picking up a cane and beating the girl as if you are beating your daughter? The Nigeria police is not saying that these people should stop totally, but they should regulate it. You get it? They should regulate it. And I agree. Because sometimes they endanger their own life and the life of the person they are pranking. Look at those old men. Your grandfathers, your, your fathers, they are leaving their foods to run. What if they fall down? What if in the process somebody get BP and died? Or somebody, what will you, what will you, how will you explain this thing? So, the, 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 the office of the PR, they are saying that, yo, either you regulate it or you stop it totally. If not, this is just a caution. According to them, this is just a caution first before they start taking action. If they start taking actions, nobody should say Nigerian police are this, Nigerian police are that. So this this is getting out of hand, and I think we need to talk to ourselves on this. Pranks. And those of you that do pranks, please be very, very careful. Moderate what you do. There are things you do that will, do, will, will constitute uh, offense, and you will not be able to hold it because the law uh, is not respect of anybody. The law will not pity you. The law will not uh, consider you for anything, whatever it is. So far, you are old enough. Uh, to have criminal responsibility, you are going to face the music. You are going to face the law, the rot of the law. So we all agree the way we do it. Pranks, fine, you can, but not the way the thing is going on. No regulation, no decorum. We do it at will, the way we want. And it's creating more problems for us in the society than the form you think you are deriving from it. Can we please regulate or stop in totality? Because you are saying this so that I can call your attention to it. Perhaps let's assume that you don't even know that this is becoming dangerous these days. 
but we are telling you now it's becoming dangerous if you are doing that pranks and you, you, you face the music you, you you run into the consequences of it it's better we are going to put an innocent person into problem by the time you venture into this and you do you overdo all this many innocent engineers that you always carry along in your pranks you don't know anything before you tell them it's a prank it's your camera you are this and that those who have a potential at times will lose their lives but majorly some of you that have gone to the extent of carrying goals and have done me real or fake gun or whatever you call it it is dangerous you are exposing your, your life to dangers to that risk and it's dangerous if, if, if I'm a policeman in the streets, I see you with a gun, I wouldn't know it's a prank. I can't even fire at any time. So, and you wouldn't want to be blaming our men on operations that they have gone down an innocent person. At that time, are you actually an innocent person? Or you are, you to, be, you are to be treated as an androver, a criminal who is fully harmed? Let us be mindful of what we do. We want to appeal to you. Be on the same page with us. Let us do everything with motivation. Let's have decorum in what we do. Regulate this. You cannot regulate stop producing pranks or doing pranks at all levels. Royalty pranks sometimes, though they also destroy relationships and all that. Some sometimes they, re, they they reveal reality and it's some, some some form of education and fun. But some of the pranks are too expensive. Pretending to be dead and putting a, a, a dead person in somebody's car and bro, some people holding gun and all that. I remember there was a time one of these pranksters. A removed cap from an army officer. Eh? Look at my face. Then an army officer beat him mercilessly. He beat the guy mercilessly. That there is no time for you to start telling the army guy that that is a prank. That is a prank. Look at the camera, bro. You don't know somebody's mood at a certain point in time. Then you go prank him. If there's somebody did the a lot of things are worrying him. Why is she? He make hot way they day. You they go prank him. They go beat you. So some of the pranks, I really agree with the police uh, system of Nigeria. I say they should regulate the way they do the pranks, or else when they face the consequences, make them no talk say Nigerian police be wicked or anything. Tell me what you also think in the comment section. Honestly, bro, some of these pranks are very expensive. To meet again in my next episode of my next content, the name is Clusters. Blame side.